I'm really into real estate as well, and like strip strip malls and all those things are doing as great as they've ever done. And then you have like LA Live, and our owners are now building an arena where they're building these fan experiences. When you look at Toronto, they have a bunch of people out in the park watching their game on one big screen. How is that going to affect who's buying? What, what you're selling, because if everybody's just looking for these fan experiences, then all of a sudden people stop getting cable, they stop streaming, and they're just going to these places to get the fan experience. So how are you going to get to the consumer through those channels if everybody's looking for that one experience? That's, that's a really good question. It's interesting. Another, another example is what happens in Dallas. You know, Jerry Jones built a, built a football stadium in Dallas, where the experience on that gigantic screen is, uh, screen is unbelievable. Now, it's mostly for people who have bought tickets to the games, but you're seeing, particularly with um, screen technology, you're seeing more and more of that. We used to complain about out-of-home viewing, people going to sports bars and watching, and not getting counted by Nielsen when we measured traditional TV ratings. One of the biggest challenges that we have right now is getting accurate data on any digital uh, program consumption that is not a pay-per-view experience. So even when we stream ESPN, there's a Watch ESPN app on an iPhone or an iPad or whatever, getting the data that we need to basically monetize it has become more and more difficult. And the bigger you get in terms of size of the screen, number of people, the more challenging that becomes. We're told, uh, we're actually, there are experiments going on right now, but we're told that Measuring such things is going to get easier uh, as you know, time marches on so that ultimately we'll be able to get paid or mo we'll be able to monetize in more ways. But right now, it, there's no question that all of the out-of-home experiences that involve some kind of digital experience, whether it's on a small screen or on a gigantic screen, are, are basically under-monetized. More consumption, less monetization. And we've got to, that is something we've got to figure out, absolutely. I like the idea of, in fact, we're enabling it. When we had, the last time we had World Cup, which was the last time we're going to have the World Cup for a while because we got outbid for the rights, but the last World Cup we did, we had big screens up in a variety of different places, Times Square. We had, we had trucks driving around Los Angeles with it. We weren't, it was all basically marketing to create big fan experiences, we weren't really getting paid much for any of that. So it's definitely an issue, and there'll be more and more of that coming.